Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That is the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I am Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at Tenet. Now, this is a Christopher Nolan movie. It's got two of at least my favorite actors, John mm. David Washington. You know him as oh. Big Rob, the other my other favorite. And I'm super excited to watch this uh, because, full disclosure, I saw this when it came out, but it was about midnight, 1 a.m. I think I was half asleep, so... I need to watch this one again because it was super confusing. I had a hard time following it. Oh, <laughs> I'm right there with you. I actually saw it in the theaters. Also super confused. <laughs> and it was uh, early early on dating my wife. So, yeah, we were both trying to figure out what was Squatching. going on. But, yeah, it was – I can't wait to try it and wa try and watch it again with these guys and you guys. I have – not seen it uh i barely even remember maybe seeing a trailer or two for it and was like hey it's the guy from ballers is big rob in this yeah he is Robert Pattinson. <laughs> even like i think this we was, shouldn't have said anything so it could have been, been a surprise. surprise i think this was before yes. like quinn had me hooked on big rob um <laughs> and now of course it's more like, um but yeah I, I, if if these guys are both saying it's like this confusing, oh, uh, I'm yeah. generally not huge on movies. Like I like suspense movies where like oh there's twists and turns, but if I really got to be like the meme where the math stuff is <laughs> yeah. going off, then you know eh, it loses me sometimes. But it came highly recommended, so mm -hmm. we'll see what it's all about. I guess. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I have not just clarify. I have not seen this uh, either with, with my wifey or at. <laughs> Midnight. Well, first time. I don't know. I don't know if Bay is ready, willing, and able, but I am. So oh, let's go. Forgot. You haven't okay, been to an like orchestra, a, either of you? Uh that's an high school. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. It's just it just it feels like a Nolan movie. Oh, this guy. Hey. There's our guy. <laughs> Ricky J. He was trying to be like his dad Wait, right they, there. Did they know this was gonna happen? I, I dude, I don't Wait, know. Wait, why would they be Oh, they have different badges? What? Did you see that? Hmm. He had a bunch of different badges. So so why would the SWAT be waiting outside the building while it happened? All right. You would not have the, like, they bust in and there's this many people outside already? Oh, what are they, what are they pumping in there? Maybe, uh, uh, take out all the threats. You know, just knockout gas, like, yeah. You know, this is really interesting. You had a big SWAT team pull up, but they were in the van and then were given the proper badges. So, uh, Ricky Jarrett's team is not with the rest of the... Bring you in or kill you. I have two minutes. Make up your mind. There's a package. Go check. Jeez. They're just climbing over. Jesus. <laughs> Is everybody just sleeping? Are they out? Oh, they must be knocked out. Out yeah. from the gas. Yeah. Oh, boy. I've never seen a capsulation like this. We don't know how old it is, but it's a real deal. Did you have an out? Service talent in the sewer. Take this. Take him. Take his exit. I don't trust us anymore. Can you defuse that? It's centrally synchronized. Are there more? Covering the tracks. Taking out the audience. It's just a cheap sense. And our mission. Come on now. All right, so he's going to try to defuse all those, or at least collect them. We don't have to kill these people. What? Is that dude part of his team? What just happened? Okay, so he had that. What, what, what the, <laughs> dude, I gotta be honest. I don't remember a, a damn thing about this. What just happened? He throws him up top. There was a, there was a there bullet was a little, hole that and like, then it, disappeared. It yeah. went backwards. And the dude in the backpack had that little lanyard on there. They showed that for a reason. Okay, so the only thing that blew inside the alcohol was the... The, uh, 
the sweet the bag yeah it's risky how are you counting on this death CIA is here almost been a cyanide mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah He's pulling teeth so you can't hear this the yelling. Running fast. Oh, look at his eye. Uh, how many chompers does he have left? It'll open the right doors, but some of the wrong ones, too. That's all they've told me? That test you passed? Not everybody does. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, they, they talk, like they said, and yeah. the horrible shit happens to them. Well, at least they rebuilt his mouth. That was nice. Yeah. yeah, and he was in a coma while they did it, so he didn't feel anything. Yeah, <laughs> nope. You, you know, Bro, you, you could have done, done that. that. Yeah, you could have done it a little bit. <laughs> I've He's doing you his can, cool walk. You, you can know. go into any building as long as you have one of those vests on or carrying a toolbox. Well, it's the, the, it's the clipboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are these villagers like us? Traveling forwards through time. The other one's going backwards. You can tell which is which. How about now? It's inverted. It's entropy runs backwards. Inverted. Someone's manufacturing them in the future. They're streaming back at us. <laughs> From the bullet's point of view, you dropped it. But cause comes before effect. No, that's just the way we see time. Well, what about free will? Well, it wouldn't have moved if you hadn't put your hand there. Either way, we run the tape. You made it happen. Don't try to understand it. <laughs> yeah, we'll don't worry. Do. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> God. Uh. An inverted weapon might be able to affect our past as well. What do you think we're seeing? The detritus of a coming war. So this is stuff from the future? <laughs> I need an assist in Mumbai. I need to get to Sanjay Singh. Singh, he never leaves his house, and his house is, uh, his house. Yes, it is. I'm looking right at it. Bombay Yacht Club in two hours. As soon as you get an introduction to the problem. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I'm here. I need an audience with Sanjay Singh. The sun is shining right on him. How come he's not listening? <laughs> I'm not looking to make much noise here. Photonic <laughs> and a diet coke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my neck! <laughs> Well, at first it sounded, I thought he was going to like do like Joker and freaking have to hit it a few times. Okay, that was awesome. That was... Guns are never conducive to a productive negotiation. Not the man they send to negotiate. Or the man they send to make deals. Wait, he didn't have a very cinematic move there. You would have... Sanjay, make a drink for our guests, please. Cheers. Oh, is she really the... She's the... Mastermind? Yeah. <laughs> the question is, can the future speak back? And I'm supposed to find out. Find out what he's receiving and how. Is it safe to involve British intelligence? I have a contact who's out of Sadie's reach. We must have had a plan for getting out. Not one I love. I <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> Rob go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Neil. Call him Neil. <laughs> Bungee jump. Oh, that was cool. Oh, wow, they were just freaking like rip it. Oh, man. I'm Mr. Crosby's lunch. I presume you will serve my good Crosby's lunch. Presume away. If you follow me. Presume away. <laughs> his name Crosby Lecter? Thought you would die, too. Hope you don't mind. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Of course. Of course it's Nolan. We have an ace in the hole. We're carrying a Goya and a Harrods bag. <laughs> <laughs> you British don't have a monopoly on snobbery, you know. Well, not a monopoly, more of a controlling interest. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you say you acquired this drawing? Tomas Arepo. I bought my Goya for cents on a dollar from an IRA Swiss bank, traced it back to Arepo, then realized I scored a bargain when he told me who paid top dollar for another one of his pictures, your husband. Where's your bargain? 
<laughs> drawing's an obvious fake. My drawing's a very good fake. You know that better than anyone. <laughs> in Vietnam, I tried to love him again. But if there was love there, I might get me my son back. I sat on that bloody boat watching the sunsets, imitating some earlier time in our lives. And he seemed happy, so I asked him, and he made me an offer. Let me go if I agreed never to see my son again. Oh, shit. You know how I dream of just diving off that boat? Would you see our son? That's my life now. Well, yeah, sometimes you gotta pick your husband a little bit better. <laughs> if you'd actually met a rapper as you claimed, you'd understand you know, not got walks anyone. You spoke on the phone. You can't do that either. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Oops. I might just be your second chance. I don't need redemption. At betrayal. Mm. Mm. Making him, making her an uh -oh. offer. Oh, this is never good. You come the heavies. You knew this was going to happen. Don't worry, I won't kill you. There's a number in your left coat pocket. Don't call for mom. You won't be taking my call. <laughs> I surprise you. Jeez, this dude oh. is hooked up deep, huh? Yeah, into everything. I ordered my hot sauce an hour ago. <laughs> Ooh, a cheese grater! Oh, ah. oh God, they would just oh, 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 seen that. oh, oh right across oh. the face. Never seen that before. Oh. <laughs> Where's the drawing? Oslo. At the airport. You know what a free port is? A storage facility for art that was acquired. But not yet taxed. Oh. oh. Started a network. Ooh, look at those cars. Brutus has assets in the Oslo free port. I'm guessing it's there. And this way to the ports? Guessing. Guessing. Well, we make trips there four or five times a year. To view art. And whatever it is he does. It turns out arts have no importance to Andre. But the free ports are. Yeah, I suppose you gotta have crazy fire protection and everything else oh, in there. Better. The facility is flooded with halide gas, displacing all the air within sec. And there is a 10 second warning. At least you give them 10 seconds. <laughs> well, sir, our clients use us because we have no priorities above their property. Mm. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey. So how do we get enough firepower through the perimeter to trigger the lockdown procedure? I call it the free port. You got some. Not gonna like it. You wanna crash a plane? <laughs> <laughs> this is me here. This team will work the plane. There can't be passengers. Morse Creek. You wanna crash a transport plane? What about the crew? Oh, pop the slides, chuck them off. On the move. What's the problem? Are we fine? Well, it seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with. I thought you were going to say nuts. <laughs> and if you get caught, we won't. And if you do? I like the, the circular shot. Yeah. Most great. Ship's treasury guard once a month. Blow the back. Drop it out on the lumber. Whoa. Oh. <sighs> it's 45 seconds. Apple, won't you be running? So he's trying to see how long he can hold his breath. <laughs> so start practicing. So that look, looks like meat, but I think that looks vegetarian. I think they both look vegetarian. I don't know if they're old. Okay. This will matter of factly. Yep. Not the radio. Oh, there's the gold bars. Yep. That is a. That's yeah. about as big as they get. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, oh well, uh, maybe they're all right. Eh, okay. Oh, that was a rough landing for the first guy. The second guy did a nice little roll with that first uh. guy. Oof. Whoops. <laughs> no, we're going over here. <laughs> no longer using the taxi. Oh. We still 10 seconds, right?
Whoa. Oh. That's right, because each mm. compartment is isolated. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, we got it. Oh, that was close. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> you don't think they'd miss just one? <laughs> Touch. <laughs> Is that him firing at him? Oh, this is going to be confusing. Get him with the lock pick. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Why are you here? Who are you? How'd you know he's here? <laughs> oh, I, oh, that's that not engine good. is. Oh, did he got he, blown. He got did he blown. get sucked into it? No, he got the the jet. He walked in front of the jet, and the jet oh, blew him back guy. and under the gate. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So they weren't planning on being there. They flew in and... It's all about the Tony. Well, when we're done, they'll kill you. Why do you have to do that anyway? I'd rather be my decision. So would I, I think. <laughs> I'm sure in 1985 you can get plutonium at any corner of gas <laughs> yeah, station. Yeah, any gas station. Here in 1955, a little hard to come oh, across. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's your problem. The parts are made in Japan. <laughs> what did you find in the woods? Two antagonists. One inverted. We took out the regular one, but the inverted one got away. Both emerged at the same moment? Yeah. They were the same person. See, it just went to Dunstall in that world. Time stuff. Oh, that's what? what we saw. I'm surprised he ran, but I don't think it was a June. Oh, June 29th. 7 or 7.30. Salmon was on the printed menu swap for sea bass on the night. Sater left early. That's when we met. I came into Shipley's in London. You ran into me here and want to show me your yacht. I think we're having an affair. You don't want to meet me? Go have your care. <laughs> Sleep 70 with crew. Two helicopters. Missile defenses. <laughs> Missile defenses. Oh. Did they turn? That's his refuge. May I join you? Dr. Wilcox taking passengers just now. Then I'll take mine. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. God. A lot of those uh, big super yachts built right here in Wisconsin, believe it or not. <laughs> Easy, fella. Where I'm from, you buy me dinner first. <laughs> That's Lockhart, by the way. From Harry Potter. Lockhart. Oh. Gilroy Lockhart. Uh, Come on. It is. I just looked it up. <laughs> you chose the wrong profession. Just imagine him cleanly shaved and a smile. Do you like opera? Oh, that caught his attention got him. real quick. Well, not here. Is that really Lockhart? It yes. looks like him. It is him. Shave his face, give him a little bit longer hair, and have him smile. Oh. Were you worried hmm. it had been destroyed? Rest assured, instinct told me to remove it from the vault. Instinct. Mm. I've always had instincts about the future. That's how I built this life. You no longer value. Probably bet on a horse race on his 18th birthday. <laughs> 21st. What was the 21st? Uh. Oh, would you guys ever want to do that? Uh, it looks really inexpensive to do. I think we could. 
Although Russian missile station was overwhelmed and held for a week, when the station was retaken, 241 on one warhead was three quarters of a kilo lighter. Ah, the music is incredible. So did the arms trade with the training of that village tracks at that shopkeep board an intelligence agent. Right. Oh! Oh! You can't join with boys like this! You can if you have to. Yeah. Oh! 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 I didn't even see him get KO'd. I thought he just fell out of the boat. Well, Dad, you got to go out. I need him. You think of how fast they're going? He comes out and hits the water like that? He showed me the drawing. I'm sorry. I had to get close to him. Andre Sater holds all of our lives in his hands, not just yours. Mr. <laughs> Sather wants to see you. Okay. Now. <laughs> uh, he wants to see me without pants? Fair enough. Really <laughs> <laughs> hard pants on. What do you think he's gonna do to me now? Try not to use him. <clears throat> Don't anyone. Jeez. Just point that yeah, thing yeah. over <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> One pot of a warhead exploded at ground level, scattering the others. They needed people to find the plutonium. It became my first contract. Nobody else even beat. I thought it was a death sentence. One man's probability of death. Had his name on it. Is another man's. Gold bars? Possibility. He's not life. even on the real Andre Sator. If you touch me, I scream so loud he hears. You think I'll let him interfere? If you try to, you should have to kill him. End of deal. So you need me now. Was that the canister? It looks like from it his was. story. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, he tried, he tried to, to steal one. one. Oh, oh, oh right in the throat. Checking his <laughs> part rate. He was at the window. It's curious. Always. I just bring the material. You pay me off. How do I contact you? You don't. How do you advance me the funds? Handle the plutonium better. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the point without being fired. It's a fast car that doesn't look fast. Four heavy vehicles. Ooh. All different. See, really now you have my attention. Yeah. It has to be a fine truck. Most of all, we have to set this up with nothing in the record. Nothing electronic, nothing paper. I don't want to say to ambushing us once we spring the material. This ignorance is our only protection. Fast car that doesn't look fast. BMW or a Mercedes sedan, I think. Probably be the way to go. Well, where are they doing this? Is uh, just wondering which type of vehicles they could have there. Yeah. Maybe a Dodge Charger. <laughs> With Nas. Just, it just pulls Two up. Two of them. But this is where our worlds collide. What is this, Andre? Oh, is this what they sent them? Ah, Beamer. Beamer W sedan. Because anger scars older into despair. I look in your eyes. I see despair. Oh. oh, they got him. Oh. Wow. Pinned in. 45 seconds. 45 seconds. And Leo Tech. 518s. Almost kind of looks like an Oshkosh, doesn't it, answer? <laughs> Uh, the doors would have fell off. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh wait! Oh, his mirror. His mirror. Mirror is cracked. Did that happen yet, or is that a future thing? They made a point of showing that. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack is That's, intense. It is. <laughs> Uh, 
that'll take care of a Range Rover. <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to get out of there. See that mask? I'm going to see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they know. Remember, oh, if they make one wrong turn, yeah, they got so to keep it on the right track. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Come on, Rob, take care of him. He'll handle business. Oh, that's well, okay. Yeah, it will work. Ooh, oh, geez. that was close. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Watch, it's not going to be in there. He knew bro was going to... Was going to hit it? No, there it is. I can't understand this. You said you spoke Estonian. It's not Estonian. Backwards. Okay. Oh, this is the mirror. <laughs> I think the thing we got to remember is that that Audi SUV isn't driving in reverse. It's driving in forward, but, you know, because otherwise people might say, well, how is he keeping up with an... An M5 in reverse. Don't give it to him. This is a platoon. It's worse than that, goddammit. She's getting away. Get up there in the car. Go, go after her. Go, 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 go. Oh. oh, good breaks. Really good break. Jeez, you just uh, can't catch a break. No. Listen to me, Frank. I can help you. Go! Oh. oh, an old oblique shot. <laughs> The BMW, I left it in the BMW. To check this is real. Which vehicle did you leave it in? I need to know before I go out there. I already told you. You wanted her here? I hope you'll be happy. Oh, that's that, the thing. Yeah, that's, that's the turnstile. That's the, yeah. uh, that's the DeLorean right yeah. there. Her dude from Bullet Train. <laughs> Good eye. Left it in the car, not the fire truck, right? We told you that! If you're not telling the truth, she dies. I don't know what you're talking about. Pincer movement. And in space, in time, half his team moves forward through the event, he monitors them, and then attacks at the end, moving backwards. Knowing it. Except for where it's plutonium. Which isn't really plutonium, is it? I told you it was what he was after. He just told him where it was. I lied. Aaron Taylor Johnson. <laughs> We find another machine. A week ago, where? Oslo. Our facility's inside an airport security perimeter. It's impregnable. Mm, it wasn't last week. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see yourself reverse exit the machine, then you ain't getting there. Is that gonna work? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Here's your answer. Let's go. Nope. We hit 88 miles an hour <laughs> or. Or uh, I'm sorry or, for the, the, the future jokes. I had to. Or you're on a lazy Susan. Yep. Wheeler, brief him. You'll need your own air. Regular air will pass through the membranes of inverted lungs. Number uh, one, don't come into contact with your forward self. It's the whole point of these barriers and protectors. Uh, mess up the space time continuum. <laughs> if your particles come into contact, what? Annihilation. That would be bad, right? Which is also how they explained it in Time Cop with Jean Claude Van Damme. Yes, it was. Same matter can't occupy the same, same space. space at the same time. Yep. 
You may experience distortions in your vision and hearing. This is normal. Can I drive a car? Cowboy shit. I can't vouch for that. Cowboy shit. <laughs> yeah, we get, he's yeah, kind of walking around trying to get that the feel of running Okay, so you planted the tracker in that. God. Oh. Whoa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, we had it for a minute. Was that him? Yeah. We oh, had, he was, was in the he car. Was in, he that... was in the sob the whole oh. time. Yeah. Interesting. So the handle. You made me shoot her for nothing. You get my pulse above 130. No one's done that before. Not even my wife. Left eyes and his team had a clean up. Heat transfer was reversed. You have to tell me what's going on. Apparently, Neil here knows more about it than I do. Am I going to die? Not if we have something to say about it. And we do. Yeah. <laughs> start with the simple stuff. Every law of physics. We should start with the simple yeah, stuff. Yeah, some easy stuff. Every law of physics is now reversed. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happens? But we stopped it. No. Domestically, I'd say that's right. Pessimistically. In a parallel world theory, we can't know the relationship with consciousness and multiple realities. Is your head hurt yet? Yes. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Just <laughs> gonna dig this head in. Sleep on this hospital gurney. Fire crew's there. I take Captain to breach. I take care of Sider's men. I secure the vault. Then you bring her in. How's your arm? Not good. Huh. He gets shot. So they're going forward. Everything else is happening backwards. Yep. Or hurry up. Breach yep. is about to, about to be over. Reverse itself out. Wait here. I'm going It was him. Yep. I said he wouldn't do that if it was him. Mm. He came in contact with his own self. Yeah. Yeah, but they can't see each other. Yeah, and he had that suit on too. Back suplex. Now we get to see the fight in the other <laughs> perspective, yeah. <laughs> Remember he was coming towards them. Yeah, yeah. That's such a weird fight scene, you know? See, now we start to remember. It's such an interesting fight scene because it's you versus you with your same skill set, yeah. you know? Yeah, but like, one is going in reverse, one in forward. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, the longer the guy in reverse is fighting him, the more evenly they are. Yeah. Oh, that's where that's right. He got the uh the lock pick in the arm. That's why, and then he clearly missed those shots. Yep. And now now it's Big Rob's turn. It was the same guy. Same guy, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then remember. Yeah. He knows. And now that makes sense because they had that scene where he looks back.
No, <risa> <risa> oh, <geez. risa> I guess they're walking off with the. You know, I guess there's actually three of them in that sequence because there's them first arriving, them from the vault, and then them the first time. Oh. Explaining when someone's about to put a bullet in their own brain, but afterwards. Things are saying, and you'll be okay. It's happened, it's happened. If I told you, you acted differently. Who knows? You should never know too much about your own future. Mm -hmm. Where the people saving the world from what might have been. <laughs> He's doing it. <sighs> the scientist who built it took her own life, so she couldn't be forced to make another. A scientist in the future, generations from now. Why does she have to kill huh. herself? You're familiar with the Manhattan Project? What do you? It's a Tommy test. Oppenheimer became concerned that the detonation might produce a chain ah, reaction. I think we'll Oppenheimer is head anyway in that last new think movie. Think of our scientist as her generation's Oppenheimer. She devises a method for inverting the world, becomes convinced that by destroying us, they're destroying themselves. The grandfather paradox. Splitting the algorithm into nine sections and hiding them the best place you can think of. The past. Here, now. There are nine nuclear bombs. Nine bombs. Mm -hmm. Say it all's lifelong mission, financed and guided by the future has been to find and reassemble the algorithm. Why did they choose him? Because he was at the right place at the right time. The collapse of the Soviet Union, the most insecure moment in the history of nuclear weapons. Mm. How many seconds does he have? After the 241 online. <laughs> Ignorance is our ammunition. If you had known what the algorithm was, you have let it fall into Serdor's hands. You want Seder to get the last section. That is the only way he'll bring together the other eight. I was supposed to steal it, then lose it. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you used it. As you used, Catherine. Standard operating procedure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need your word that she and her son will be safe for you. What good is someone's word in our line of business? Good point. They'll be safe. There's a rally point offshore at Trondheim. Get yourselves up there. I as a team ready to invert. Oh, look at this guy. Going backwards. <laughs> yeah. You see, Tenor wasn't founded in the past. It will be founded in the future. Yeah, it makes total sense. Yeah. I'm, I'm hanging on by a thread here. Oh, yeah, he's doing chin-ups again. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's doing them in a moderately safe section of the ship. Yeah, not all the way up that wind farm. Uh, That's a pretty safe tube, section but... altogether. Assuming those pipes are made to hold human weight. Hmm. Can't get over the bus. How are you feeling? Oh, Big Rob is horrible at stitch job. Yeah. <laughs> you know what a hypercenter is? It's ground zero for an underground nuclear test. Sir, Michael Crosby told me about a detonation stop 12 on the 14th. What do we better put it out of oh, before the bomb goes off, eh? What is this oh, like? Uh, that looks like the giant turn wheel on Price is Right. Yeah. Today's the 14th. Offshore of Siberia. Time for us to go. You keep going back another day. Give you some time to get back into Vietnam. Who gets me in the yacht? I've got somebody good in mind. When it's over, you've been raising your boy, Kerry. There may be a time and place you feel threatened. You talk, state your location, hang up. Who gets the message? Posterity. So many mysteries. Cool little feature to have. Uh, oh, they're going to the yacht. Yeah, yeah there's <laughs> our guy. Yeah. Jesus, they got the Chinooks out there. Yeah. We drop in clear LZs for blue team evacuation away into the city proper. These buildings are abandoned, but we learned there is a turnstile. Expect to buy temporal or response. Ah. Our job is to fail to defuse that bomb. Not a splinter unit achieves its task undetected. Which is? Need to know and you don't. Any other stupid questions? <laughs> <laughs> God, the music again. <laughs> it's just so good. Oh, this is so trippy. 
Oh my god. <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> well, how are we supposed to find me here? And do it tell the others. I'll get the mess. <laughs> yeah, well, she cares. <laughs> Might as well swept it underneath a rug. Ooh, mines. I want things to be better, okay? <laughs> Oh, bazooka. Oh, oh, didn't see that coming. I think they're playing the same music just as it, backwards. It, yeah, it's, in, it's in reverse, yeah. Oh my god. It's I wonder how many other scenes they did that with where their same music just reversed it, you know? Uh oh. Oh. oh! Bring my stomach back to me. Uh oh, something. Uh, something yeah, him off. Yeah, something looked wrong. Wow! Oh, oh God, that was cool. <laughs> wow! He <laughs> said. It was you, not then I sure with the next. As long as you can tell the difference. Oh, oh, oh hey. <laughs> mm. He's got to keep turning on the charm, keep him convinced. Yeah, but he's got to keep playing games with her. Mm. Ah, that guy. Uh oh. And now you're about to make the same mistake for the entire world. It was a mistake. You made me bark and I could. What was yours? Your faith is blind. You're a fanatic. It's all fanatical. They're trying to destroy the world. Oh, did you see Rob? <clears throat> Rob's backpack? It had the little thing on it. When I'm done, life continues. Not just time. My greatest sin was to bring his son into a world that he was ending. Think God will forgive me. Oh, that was him. Don't just our time is up. Enough business, my love. Just time. waiting, yeah. We're dying alone, Andre. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on. You are a vengeful bitch. You scarred on the outside. What? Ooh. So the other her was still on shore. Yeah. And remember, we... The sunscreen, so he would slip right off. Oh! 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 She's killed him. I'm too cocky. She's killed him. She told me to come. She killed him. <laughs> Remember they were right yep. on the shockwave. Yep, they were. <laughs> she drank the rest of the drink. Mm. Oh, that's right. What'd she say? Oh, she yeah, saw it. We, we saw this, yeah. That's she, what she, she said. Yeah. She saw the woman dive at the beginning and never oh. saw him again. Yeah, and she said she 
uh, she envied her. And it turned out it was her all along. Yeah. And you'd find a way. Oops. Sweet, you found a way. We're okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> the hell with Campbell. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, we, we got one, right? We got one. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, what are they towing? His body. Oh, his <laughs> body. <laughs> Jesus. Felt like you needed help here. <laughs> here, here down there. How'd you get that lock on? It wasn't me. Didn't your team need you? Get him on the next pass. Right, I want to support my bro. Well, he was down there already, though. Wait, what? No one who's seen this leaves the field. All right. A, a camshaft? <laughs> That's the algorithm. We hide it. We end our lives. It's the only way to be sure as to when. Maybe that's every man's decision to make for himself. You're not gonna kill us. If I ever find you, I will. You won't look too hard. Yes, I will. <laughs> hey, you never did tell me who recruited you, Neil. I only guessed by now. He did. You did. <laughs> only not when you thought. You have a future in the past. Years ago for me, years from now for you. You've known me for years. For me. I think this is the end of a beautiful friendship. That's why he got him the Diet Coke and knew he doesn't drink on the job. Yeah. We get up to some stuff. Our operation's a temporal pizza. Oh! Yours! <laughs> You're only halfway there. Oh, Jesus. I'm kidding, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Well, that's pretty... That's cool. Do it before the boy comes out. <laughs> oh, not today. You gave me your word. And I told you that what it would be worth. How did you? Oh. Had a place three o'clock, probably nothing. Posterity. Can place three o'clock, probably nothing. Oh, he g he gave her the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I realized I wasn't working for you. We both been working for me. I'm the protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not to die up to slow sense. <laughs> oh, ooh, he did. Mr. the bomb didn't go off. The danger. No one knew it was real. Well, I mean, they were in a Jaguar. It's pretty obvious they're bad guys. <laughs> a Jaguar with uh, windows hey, tinted. There's nothing wrong with Jaguar. Bad guys always drive Jaguars. <laughs> with windows tinted. Yep. There you go. Oh, there's that music again. Yep. All right, guys. That was Tenet. Oh, Christopher wow. Nolan. Oh, gosh, this guy, he just doesn't miss. Um, I'm so glad I got to watch this with these guys and uh, get a fresh set of eyes on it, see it, you know, for probably the way it was intended, I suppose. And, you know, just real quick, uh, a few things I jotted down is that, one, the music was incredible, and I think... Uh, Answer and I eventually caught on probably three quarters of the way through that uh, certain reverse. scenes had the music they would play it normally and then they would reverse it and uh, it just you know Christopher Nolan has just such a way of taking like nerdy scientific uh, theory and somehow making it into a movie and in a way that has like a physical form almost if that makes sense uh, you know he's done it before with. You know, uh, we saw Interstellar, you know, stuff like that. And this is just more of the same. I, I feel like when they were describing some of the things, I thought I needed a dictionary to know what some of the words meant. But uh, regardless of that, just an absolute blockbuster. I mean, what more can you say about the cast? It was just incredible. I mean, John David Washington, I know he's a star now, but I think he's going to be a superstar. A guy's just incredible and uh, apparently comes from good genes. And, uh, of course, we have Robert Pattinson, who crushes it again, like usual. And the supporting cast was good. You know, that's the thing that Christopher Nolan always does is, you know, he has a knack for getting a lot of characters now he will use a lot of the same actors in some of his movies mm -hmm. but he also has a knack for getting uh like secondary and tertiary characters that are just amazing and knock it out of the park and it, you know it's it's just kind of his signature i think he does a real good job at that um 
it was interesting that you know we didn't catch on to a lot of the scenes that we saw and then how they played out later on whether it was um a uh, cat jumping out of the boat or the fight that both uh neil and the protagonist had with the protagonist at the airport were there <laughs> in the scene that we saw and put it all together there was actually three sets of them at the airport there was the original set the set they were fighting and then the set of them going back to try to save cat so i mean all in all just a complete mind warp of a movie i think i'll probably have to watch it again oh, just, um yeah. again the way christopher nolan mixes in science into movies is incredible and there's so many things going on in this movie i think you could probably watch it six or seven times and uh and pick up new things each time so Oh yeah. Get our boards on. Right? Get my board answer if you'd be so kind to hand me that. Marker. Um you know what and, and again I think Oak you talked about it a few times. A lot of times when we're looking at movies and we're trying to figure out kind of how we're gonna rate them, we, we look for any kind of weaknesses. Uh, in terms of like a mind bending sci fi movie, I I guys I can't find really any weaknesses with Tenet. Uh for me even though I think I understood most of it, it's a 4.9 out of five answers for me. I mean, nice. it was perfection nearly. And I mean, the only reason it wasn't was because I'm sure there's things that I didn't understand that I uh, I probably need to understand a little bit better. Uh, what can you say? This was a total like mind trip. Uh, I wanted to look up because we are so interested in the music and we always know that frequent collaborator is Hans Zimmer, but he turned it down in favor oh. of doing Dune, which we oh. already watched. So is Ludwig Goransson. I, if I, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but he was chosen as a film's composer. So like, but so you got to see just based on with how Dark Knight was that Nolan gets a lot involved in the music, it seems yeah. to make sure because it had that similar, you know, feel and tone to it. But so I wanted to look up that real quick. And, you know, it, it did a great job and made 365 at the box office. You had your little cameos with like Michael Caine and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I mean, they had just a great freaking cast and crew. I mean, when you think of having and then one of my favorite part is John David Washington. His name is actually the protagonist. Yeah. He doesn't have a name. You even asked like someone. Yeah, like, like, did they, they say they his know? name? And they never did. And so that was awesome. A lovely surprise for Aaron Taylor Johnson because I just, everything he does is freaking great. See Bullet Train, see Kick Ass, see quick, him as Quicksilver. And it was just a lot of fun ride. It, the music just really got you into it. Going backwards, the mind trips were, and then you see, like, oh, okay, that's why that happened. That's why it happened that way. The, she dove off of the boat at the beginning, yeah. and you found out that's that's why it was. So I am going to echo your statement. Uh, damn near perfect. Not falling a bit short, but 4.9 answers on my scale. Oh, and well. shout out to Josh Stewart. He's fantastic in just about everything he does and had the role of male voice. So interesting. All right. So, <laughs> so, so, check, so check this out. I have Christopher Nolan all figured out. Okay, so here's what he does. Make an awesome movie with a lot of action, great actors. Check. Give you just enough to make you think, kind of maybe you know what's going on. The movie's over and you're like, wow, that was awesome. I, I'm really not quite <laughs> sure what happened, yep. but it was awesome. I need to see it again. And hopefully, if you see it in the theaters, you go catch it a second time in the theaters. This is... His master plan, make you see the movie twice in order to understand it. You're going to rent it, you're going to buy it, or you're going to see it twice in the theaters. It's a brilliant plan. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. And I think like at some point, like we've seen some movies where they they throw like science at you. Like in Inter Interstellar, for example, which everything I completely, everywhere. completely miss, you know. Like Interstellar, they take the piece of paper and they say, you know, we think time is linear. It's like this, but what if you fold the paper and then they put the pencil through it? And even just something little like that could help you understand, even if it's just incredibly rudimentary, the science. And this is like, okay, you're you're coming from the past and the future is going backwards instead of, like I think about like, let's take Back to the Future, for example. <laughs> Most famous time travel movie of all time. Yeah, um, they once. jump backwards right mm -hmm. as opposed to like going, going in through it reverse yeah. so like here's here's where we're at okay <laughs> like
Like, let's say <laughs> I was to get in a fight with Answer, a 10 minute fight, okay? It wouldn't Here's last that where long. It starts. And here's where it ends, okay? Start of the fight with answer, end of the fight with answer. Now let's say my future self recognizes that I'm a little outmatched with the answer, okay? And I need help. Well, you can't just back up to the end of the fight, right? If, no. my, if future self is going to help me with my fight with answer, I'm gonna have to go backwards in the fight to help in the middle where I'm really getting worked over here. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and I think that's what we saw in the battle scene. That's where a second like roundhouse had, kick comes into where action. All some stuff is happening backwards. In order to be able to help in the middle of the battle where they're needed, they had to backtrack. So as opposed to all these time travel movies, we see, we see people jumping time. Yeah. This is like, it's already happened. And we have to get there it. by hitting rewind, if that makes sense. At least that's how like I kind of interpreted it. It's like this. It's, it's, it's not like jumping. It's like hitting fast forward and rewind. This has already happened. If you want to get to here, we got to like gotta go through it, yeah. you know? Yeah. So um, I would never really get worked by the answer. <laughs> that's just a sign. So oh, well, in a wrestling match, it probably would. Uh, okay. Anyhow, uh, the, the action was well, great in the movie. Arms, gotta say the answer. <laughs> the, grappling, story, right, Quinn? the story was really cool. Uh, yeah, the science is a little over our head, but it wasn't like so out there that you still couldn't enjoy it. Like it didn't totally melt your brain. We were like, wait a minute, like what's happening here? Um, I do think this is definitely a movie where very much like my first experience with Interstellar where I may have had a long week and dozed off in the theater. I think if you're not laser focused on this movie um, and, and you had like a bathroom break or two in the theater, you'd probably be like, wait, what? What? Did yeah. Miss? Yeah. What did I miss? You know, oh, like, everything. Like, like this, yeah. The scene where they come back to the airport and it's like, wait, he was fighting himself. And like, that was Rob chasing him. You know, keep going, just calling him Rob. Um, <laughs> Neil. If you miss that scene, like that was your bathroom break. The whole movie's ruined for you, right? The whole the whole movie's ruined. So I think this is a movie that you have to pay just, you have to be laser focused when you watch it. And we usually are, we banter a little bit back and forth. Um, but for a movie like this, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty zoned in. Um, I thought it was really cool the way they did the scenes. It was intriguing, it was fun, it had this sci-fi thing. I really liked the twist at the end that they'd been friends. Yeah, yeah he's and like, you've known me for years. You've recruited me, I've known you for years. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't even remember it because it's something that, that happened in the future. Um, I did find it interesting when, um, when our, our bad guy said that the oceans rose and the rivers ran dry. And so they like came back yeah. to end it before things got bad and that's like an interesting uh, an interesting part of time travel is if things ever got really bad in the future you know you'd like to think that they would come back and yeah. and change things that made it get bad and not just come back and end it yeah um, to save them um, and destroy the past. however he knew that uh his life was ending because of his cancer mm -hmm. so he said you know what things don't get any better in the future this is this is going to be the end of it. Um, at least that's how I interpret it. This is probably a movie that I don't know that I would necessarily would want to watch again right away, but um, I would want to go online, watch a few YouTube videos, see a few read theories. a few descriptions, see if there's anybody who had maybe a slightly more uh, well well yeah. done up graph yeah. than than mine to help explain it. But I I agree with you guys. Um, I, I would have liked maybe a little bit. And look, I get. Hey, we're hey, we're not we're not physicists. Yeah, we're not here, physicists. We're not here. mathematicians. <laughs> but I would have liked some sort of example on some maybe sort of scientist myself. Just help. I'm a bit of a scientist. <laughs> just maybe a bit of a, a some sort of 
bone to throw at yeah. us. You know, there's well, normally that character who doesn't know what's going on, and the smart guy has to explain to the character in the movie what's going on. Yeah, acts as and, a vehicle uh, for us. For to us. And I feel, I feel I like think they kind of did that at the beginning with uh, yeah, Laura, like, but... Yeah, yeah. But she was, like, she was, was still, trying to explain, yes. and I'm like, oh. all right, <laughs> English here. She, English. she even she tried dumbing it down and didn't dumb it down enough <laughs> for <laughs> us. enough bad medicine, but <laughs> I still think this was a really good movie. Uh, hey, 485 for me is one of the higher scores um, that I think I've ever given out. Not quite that that five perfect movie like uh, Interstellar was. Mm -hmm. I and mean, Interstellar, I think, was was <laughs> equally as confusing with, yeah. I would say, about the same amount of explanation. It's the books. It's the books. Interstellar yeah. hit a little bit harder from an emotional yeah, standpoint. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so it, it had a few more elements that yep. maybe this didn't have. The action in this was incredible. Solid 4.85. I think we're was? all... It was, we all, we all it was awesome that they did get an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Yeah, so like, it was that's cool. how amazing of a job they Yeah, did. you know, Christopher Nolan just has his way of shooting stuff and filming and getting the music right and having a compelling story. I mean, uh, he just nails it. God, wouldn't, this, wouldn't it be cool to just sit down with him for a few hours? Like, all right. How does your I, mind gotta, work? We gotta be, have a talk. He'd be so bored talking to us, <laughs> yeah. us mere so then, humans. How about <laughs> this happens and then this? He's like, yeah, 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 okay, cornfield, I'll grow it again and burn it <laughs> just for one scene. Oh, the one thing I did want to say, they, they, I, I thought it was cool that they brought up the grandfather complex, mm. which is Par like paradox, your grandfather, yeah. par not complex, paradox, yeah. which is, of course, right. Like, anytime you bring up time travel, you have to bring up the grandfather paradox, yep. the most like rudimentary <laughs> yet puzzling question. Well, if you went and took out your grandpa, would, would you poof? Yeah. And then how would you have been there to well, do to, it? To well, do it. I think, don't you have to watch uh, Looper with that? That's with uh, Bruce Willis. And uh, Time Lord. Cop, actually, with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, no, no, I think this Bill and Ted's Excellent <laughs> Adventure uh, solved it when they just said, don't we have to do it? But it already happened. We don't have to. We're good. <laughs> I thought Quantum Leap did a better job at it. So, <laughs> so there you go. It was a great score across the board. Really enjoyed it. I, I had a lot it. of fun. Still a little up there, but so for Appleton, Oak, Mason, and Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.